Also new at 6.30 tonight, a California-based company has proposed to build a new apartment complex on land where Quentin's Bar and Britches Clothing already sits. And some, uh, some people, of course, are continuing to wonder why the city continues to allow new apartment complex. The ABC 17 Sarah Masardonar looks into the proposal. And Sarah, the decision to build an apartment complex, of course, is not the city's decision. It's the property owner's decision, Joey, so they can decide what they want to do with their land. So I thought we would take the CVS controversy into thought right here for a second. So essentially, CVS is already has a deal with the property owner, but the reason reason that the CVS plans are at a standstill is because they're not lining up their business proposal, their building plans, with the city's rules. And so that is essentially where the city can make those decisions. It seems like every time a new apartment building is completed in downtown Columbia, another project is just beginning. The newest proposal, dubbed for now Rise on 9th, is no exception. If all goes to plan, the apartment complex will stand 10 stories on land currently occupied by Quinton's Bar and Britch's Clothing. They'll also build on the lot where Mackenzie's Prime used to be, and then on down 10th Street to James Condominiums. Of course, the city, we don't get to decide what happens there. We do have zoning rules that do uh, limit use, and if you stay within those rules, then uh, we must say yes to your proposal. City leaders say property owners have the right to build what they want, but they're confused why the owners would want yet another student housing complex. I, for one, and many people in the city uh, kind of scratch our head and go, D is there really enough demand for more? Enrollment at the University of Missouri is expected to drop by almost 900 students, and the city already has apartments going up that'll total almost 1,000 beds. At this point in time, I wouldn't write a check and invest in it, you know, if I were them. Of course, I can't uh, anyway, but I just feel like it's awkward timing. It's their decision whether they want to invest in it that way. And if they do, my job is to say, here are the rules. If you follow them, you may proceed. So essentially, as long as the building plans are aligned with Columbia's zoning regulations, then it will get built. And it, they, while Mathis said there are pros to the plan, I asked him if the infrastructure in Columbia could hold. He says they have made new updates to infrastructure, and while he's fairly confident it will hold, they are still looking into it to make sure that it can, with this new building, that the infrastructure will be able to support it. Reporting in the newsroom, Sarah Massler, Donar, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Sarah. ABC 17 News reached out to the company Fields Holdings for a comment about that project, but we haven't heard anything yet. We'll update you when we do.